Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP script and in this video we will see or we will check how we can shift the data to the next page. See, if we have lots of item data, the item data should shift to the next page. Yes, because we put the item data into main window. What is main window? Main window is for continuous output. So our item data should shift to the next page. So firstly, what I will do, uh, we will replicate the scenario and we will see is our item data is shifting to next page. And yes, it will not shift. And with whenever I will show then how, how we can shift the next item data to the next page. So what I will do, I will go to item table. This is our item table. Now, with the help of SM30 transaction code, you all know how you can maintain that data into that table. I will go to item table. Suppose as of now for order number one, only three line items are there. So it will accommodate on one page itself. So what I will do, I will just put more line items and then I will show you, yes, is that data is shifting to next page or not. So how I can put more records, you can do a shortcut here. It will save you a time. Suppose select these three records. We have a option of copy here. Click on to copy. Order number one as it is, just change the order item number because the combination of these two must be unique because these two are the primary keys of that table. I will go for save. Have you seen? For order number one, now we have six line items. Select this. And now suppose again go for copy. Suppose I will put 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, 60. You can put any two digit line item number. Enter. Save. Now for order number one, I have total, total 12 line items. It means whenever I will run the driver program for order number one, 12 line items should display in the script. Now I will go to the program. This is our driver program. I'll just remove the breakpoint. I'm running. I'm going for order number one. I'm passing that device. Now I will simply, simply go to print preview. You can see we have only one page in the output. And if I will scroll down, just see. How many line items? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What about other three line items? And we do not have a next page. But we put this data into the main window. It means, it means we should get two pages here. And rest of the three line items should be on the next page. It should be on the next page. Now the question comes, why, why our data is not shifting to the next page? Why we are not getting a next page? It is not the case with smartphones. If I will go to smartphone, if I will go for the smartphone, you can see, in the smart form, we have the page. When I double click on the page, have you seen the next page is automatically there. For this page, next page is this itself. 
so data is automatically shifting on to the next page so in smartphone there is no need to do anything because next page is also also appearing automatically for that particular page yes but it is not the case with the script in case of script you need to define the next page also if you remember in case of script we firstly decided the first page now we need to go for next page also as of now we have only one page that is true but that page will act as next page also if the data is increasing so how how we can achieve that particular thing go to sc71 transaction code i will go to the script i will go to change mode i will go to header this is header by the title bar i can predict i will go to basic settings and you can see now as of now we gave the first page we gave the first page now we will go to pages now in the page itself we have this first page now have you seen we have a option of next page also so in our case yes page 1 will act as next page also so from the f4 help pass the page 1 also as next page because as of now we have only one page but yes if item data is increasing that page should act as next page also so we simply went to the page and we assign the next page also this is not the case with smart form in smart form yes for that page next page is by default there itself now what i will do i will simply run the driver program and show you is our data is shifting to next page or not so this is our driver program i will run this program i will put the order number 1 now i will go to execute i'll pass the device now you can see still we have one page one page and intentionally intentionally i did this because this pe people will many times do the right thing but what they will do they will forget to activate the script and this is the intentional way i did this so that we never never forget to activate the script we simply saved the script now we will activate the script after that only our changes will reflect now i will go to sc38 i will run the program order number 1 i'll put the device now you can see we have two pages and on the first page some line items are accommodating now if i will go to next page this is the next page and you can see rest of the line items are on to the next page next page so this is one additional point you can tell yes in case of sap script you need to define the next page also yes so in case of smart form if we have one page yes that is acting as next page automatically it's there but in case of script that is not the case you need to tell sap that yes it will act as next page also so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we are checking if number of line items are more yes is item data is going to next page or not so previously it was not going then we checked there is no next page defined so we went for the pages and we defined our first page as next page also 
it is not the case with smartphone in smartphone that first page is acting as next page also it's by default there so data is automatically shifting to the next page now in next video we will go for the various settings which we did in the smart form and pdf form also suppose if i will execute we do not require this pop-up because customer will not go for these many actions so in the next video we will learn how to remove this particular pop-up so that's it in this particular video thank you